Right. Good afternoon all. Um, a year ago I sat in here and I spoke to you about the building issues I had with the council. This goes right away back to the year 2000. This has been a long issue I've had with you. <clears throat> I wrote out the problems I'd had to the then mayor and councillors and the CEO in a 20-page document detailing blow by blow what happened. All about the defects the building had. When I purchased it, I had presumed how stupid of me that the council carried out its tasks properly. They didn't. Hopeless. As a result of that, I got a letter from the CEO and her last statement simply said was, the council considers this matter now closed. And that was it. Nothing happened for a number of years. Then we had the earthquakes. The government was heavily involved with the council and they came to the conclusion that the council had some problems. <coughs> And they realised that they had to do something. They put in a Crown manager to reform the council's consenting department. My understanding is that, in fact, they were nearly at the verge of putting a commission there to run the whole council. But the political reality was they weren't willing to take that risk because of what they had just recently done with ECAN, where a Crown commissioners were appointed. But what I want to talk specifically about are some of the planning issues I've also had. It's unbelievable. <clears throat> right, I told you in my written submission our councillors changed the zoning without <laughs> my ever knowing about it. Then I told you, told you about the two consents that were issued, one of the units where I live in, and the front unit was converted into a medical facility where the two planners both said <coughs> it will never happen. And the second planner, three days later, sends another email out to the applicant saying, I've got a solution. How did that happen so suddenly? How did he change his mind? <clears throat> All of these, of course, were done on a non-notified basis. I used the medical facility as a template to what I see is going on. After it had been issued at everything, a few months later, I actually went over point by point that consent and I found a legal error in it. When I wrote to the council about it, I got a letter back from, I forget the guy's name now, but he told me in the letter, I have cancelled the consent. Staff prefer consents to be on a non-notified basis. It reduces <coughs> the likelihood of those impacted by the decision appealing. The cost of appealing when staff make those decisions is a judicial review in the High Court. And most residents do not have the resources to do that. That's the problem. And that's why the staff love it but they know you're not going to come in and, and argue the case. <clears throat> Making the decision non-notified removes my democratic rights as a citizen. It lacks transparency and can impact on property rights. It's exactly what's happened now to me with the petrol station right next door to me. <clears throat> I sometimes feel that some people in Richmond and other Suburbs, some suburbs are treated simply as second-class citizens. Right on what you've got with consenting, I know you have now a very... Uh, how can I... Permissive, I think, is the word you're looking for. Consenting thing. But then you've got staff who are also willing to let all sorts of issues go. Well, it's a permissive district plan. Sorry, I was, yeah, the I was district throwing plan. the yeah. word... The district plan is very permissive of development. I, I know, that was a word I was trying to think of, very yeah. permissive. But your staff are also very permissive. And the next problem, of course, is a lot of these business people, 
They ignore the conditions. Yeah, but they have to comply with the plan. That's the problem. The problem is the plan and the RMA. They have severe doubts. Yeah. <clears throat> right. What I want to say to you is this. You have a duty as care. As councillors, you have a duty of care <clears throat> to ensure the staff are following the practices, policies and procedures as set out in council manuals and statutory regulations. Having a good complaint, good effective complaints process, procedure, <clears throat> will enable you assist you to make good decisions. You will get feedback on what is actually going on, what the staff are really up to. And that's all I really want to say. I'm not going to go into any... The, the real point here is, it's no good going into all the how are we going to do it. The real quick point here is that there has to be a majority of you who are going to take on board there is a problem. And until you get over that hurdle, everything else is irrelevant. You have to do something. Can't just sit around and say everything's fine. Now, I know what's going to happen. The staff are going to tell you we don't need a complaint policy. That's it. That's what I want to say. Look, thank, thank you very much, Lindsay. And um, uh, you know, I think people are, are certainly hearing what you've got to say. Uh, and, and there are issues with the district plan and the Resource Management Act process, and the way this current district plan was written. It was required by the central government forces uh, that allowed us to have a fast track process through an independent hearings panel. It required us to reduce the notifications, to reduce the consenting requirements, reduce, 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 reduce. So we've ended up with a with a district plan that is extremely permissive of development and less. Um, less accepting and willing to receive um, or to notify in terms of pub the public interest, but only if the effects aren't yeah, more than I, minor. I accept all that, but I'm also trying to say is that your staff are also very permissive when it yeah. comes to these decisions. And they making. are obliged to uh, follow what the district well, plan says. But look, uh, that doesn't yeah. mean that we can't ask the chief executive to look at this matter. And, um, and in terms of a um, complaints process, maybe if we're not thinking of the word complaint, but we're thinking of a mechanism for internal review, I think there is one there, and it just might, might require something a little bit more explicit. But thank you very much okay. for coming along and um, making your submission. It does matter that you do, so thank you. Um,